Hi, I am Izri Mukri from the Research and Conservation Unit of Malayan Rainforest Station. We are now in a place we would like to call Hornbill Valley, which is actually a forest patch in the middle of oil palm plantation and a massive limestone hill on our left and also agroforested rubber plantation on our right. We are studying the nesting ecology, nesting behavior of rhinoceros hornbill. Uh, actually, this place is found by the local orang asli batik where they inform us about a nesting pair in, in this plantation. So, previously, prior to that information, we tried to find nesting hornbills in uh, the forest reserves. We went out looking for nesting cavities, potential tree uh, for nesting of hornbills. However, we didn't find any until we were notified about uh, this pair over here. Our team uh, were deployed in this area uh, to observe directly the nesting behavior of the hornbill. Uh, we noticed that the male hornbill is around uh, with food in its bill. However, it doesn't want to go to the cavity and feed the female. So we tried this for two days straight and uh, the on the third day, uh, we decided to stop observing because we want the hornbill to be fed. Uh, so we back home, we try to find ways on how can we get data on the behavior, the nesting behavior, without uh, without harassing the hornbill. So one way that uh, came out is actually placing camera traps next to the hornbill cavity, the nest, nesting cavity. So it is a long effort where we try to build a ladder using bamboo and this is actually a group effort where everyone is involved in it. So all of us find bamboos, uh, tie it uh, to become a ladder and attach it next to the tree, uh, the nesting tree. And our a team member, which is the lightest, will try to climb the ladder and place uh, cameras on top of this uh, tree to get a high level shot of uh, the hornbill. Hornbill is very important to the ecosystem because they are good seed disperser uh, where they bring seeds further compared to other frugivores that uh, dwell on land. They can propagate the seeds further from the parent tree as compared to other animals. Other than that, hornbills, globally hornbills are threatened uh, to extinction because of land use change. So in this case, uh, since this place is a man-made ecosystem, uh, as I mentioned before, this is a plantation, oil palm plantation, rubber plantation and also uh, open area like this, we want to study what is the effect of land use change to the hornbill and is there any effect, is there any significance to their behaviour. From our knowledge, we know that hornbills need intact forests, old growth healthy forests for them to survive. They need big trees for them to nest in, they need trees for them to eat and that's why we want to study what's the effect of land use change to the hornbills in Peninsula Malaysia. From our camera trapping data, we got a lot of information that we might miss if we do direct observation. Since hornbills are very intelligent and skittish, uh, they tend to not come to the nest and feed the nest whenever we are here. So using camera traps, we got information such as what type of food are they bringing in to the female and the young, and what is the duration of each visit, how, how many times does it visit the nest, and what is the role of the male and the female in nesting, and a lot of other information that we don't know about uh, rhinoceros hornbill. There are a lot of publication, there are a lot of previous efforts being done using camel trap, but most of them are using uh, man-made structure. So this is the first time ever that we try to use uh, camel trap as a tool to study nesting behavior of hornbills, rhinoceros hornbill in a natural cavity. So now we have finished with our first round of monitoring and we plan to follow up this study uh, for 2020. Hopefully 
the hornbill come and nest again in the same cavity because we notice that the pair and also the chick is still foraging in this area from time to time. So once we know that the female and the male are checking the nest, we will again put camera traps and we build, we try to build a run before they arrive, before they nest so that we could have a better height and basically people can be on the run and observe it directly. Here are some of the footage from our camera traps. Hope you guys enjoy it. Eh. Hombil, hombil.